are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Yeah, it has been. How's life been going for you? Well, you know, it's been really stressful lately. I mean, I have quite a bit going on right now. What else has been going on with you? Well, right now I'm enrolled uh, in three summer classes down at USI in Evansville for the uh, Master's of Social Work program. Okay. And it's kind of stressing me out because I have a lot of other things going on right now. What else do you have going on besides your Master's program? Well, right now um, I'm currently working two jobs and I'm babysitting for several families. I, um, my twin sister, Megan, she just recently moved to Lafayette, Indiana, and I'm kind of having a tough time uh, dealing with that because, I mean, we've always been really close and we've done almost everything together. Okay. So, I mean, that's been really hard lately. Mm-hmm. And then one more thing, um, my boyfriend is going to nights at work. He uh, just recently got a new job um, out in McAllister's at the cat dealership in Washington, Indiana. He's a diesel mechanic there. and I mean, they've been training him um, on days, so we, right now, we're on the same schedule. Like, I work days, he works days, so I mean, we can see each other mm-hmm. quite often, but after we get back from vacation, uh, they're going to move him to nights, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to Okay. Okay. So I'm going to kind of backtrack a little bit here. Tell me more about your master's program. What all does that entail for you? Um, well, right now I'm in three summer classes. I'm taking a motivational interviewing class. I'm doing a crisis intervention course, and then I'm also doing a human diversity. Um, we just have a lot of homework. Um, that's due each week and each class. And since I live in Vincent, I'm also driving to and from uh, to get here to Evansville uh, to be on campus. And I just have so much homework, it's kind of hard to work ahead because mm-hmm. I'm so busy with yeah. everything. What all does, like, I know you mentioned you had three summer classes. What mm-hmm. does the fall and spring entail for the master's program? Um, for the spring and fall, uh, I start an internship. Um, it's five minutes from my house in Vincennes. Uh, I'll be at the Samaritan Center. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a mental health, and I'll be doing inpatient and outpatient. For the following semester, I'll be at the Willows working with the kids, um, and I'll be, it's full-time since it's the advanced training program, so I'll be doing classes full-time and also doing an internship, which would be about 20 to 25 hours, and then on top of that, I'll also be working. Okay, so you've already got a lot going on this summer and the spring and fall with classes, internship, pretty much a part-time job of intern ship at your two different, you know, agencies, Mm -hmm. and then on top of that, you've got other stuff going on. Uh, Tell me a little bit more about you and your sister. I know you said you don't see her as much anymore. Um, Well, growing up, we've been really close. I mean, we've done everything together. We worked at Kohl's together. Mm -hmm. We would take shopping trips to Evansville. We would go to dinner. We would just do everything together, and, like, her moving away, I mean, it's been really hard for me to cope with it because like she was always there and now she's not Mm -hmm. and we just never see each other anymore so and you said that she's moved away so you Mm -hmm. don't get to see her as much I know you said that you worked with her at Kohl's Mm -hmm. uh did you have how long have you worked at Kohl's for I worked at Kohl's for uh it'll be almost six years in October um I mean I enjoy it so yeah so that show the fact that you've worked at Kohl's for six Mm -hmm. years but it really shows that you're a very hard worker and a dedicated worker, a good employee. So that's a definitely uh, definitely a good positive for you. Do you work anywhere else or anything like that? Yeah, um, I have two jobs. I work at Kohl's, obviously, mm-hmm. and then I also work at Royal Kings. I also babysit for a few families. Okay. So you've got pretty much three jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, who, like, How many families do you normally babysit for on average? Um, I used to babysit for a lot more, but I've narrowed it down to three now. Okay. Because, I mean, it's really hard with everything. Yeah, I, I mean, I could definitely understand that, but it definitely shows your uh, hard like work worth work ethic with having basically three jobs and you know uh, working going through school. Uh, and I know you mentioned your boyfriend having new hours. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else, like kind of that is worrying you about that? Um, I just feel like I won't be able to see him as often. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have to find something else to like make up for my time. I mean. I might have to work more hours or try to work ahead in school. Yeah. Just stuff like that. I need more me time, you know, time to focus on myself, uh, just to do the things that I enjoy and want to do. Because, I mean, 
I'm so busy, I don't have the time to do it. Okay. What would you, if you are able to find the time to do it, what would you want to do to have more of your me time that you talked about? Well, I really have quite a few things that I enjoy to do. Um, I like to go boat fishing. I like to go shopping. Um, I mean, hang out with friends and family, spend time with Dylan, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, just stuff like that. I also enjoy exercising, going to the park and running, just stuff like that. You know? Yeah. But that, so you definitely need to take, find a way to take some time to get that, mm -hmm. just so you're not so overwhelmed and stuff, stuff like that. What are you doing right now to kind of give yourself some me time and kind of some relaxation time? Well, I mean, I'm so busy. I don't really have the time to do things. Um, in my free time, I try to catch up on some sleep, or I mean, I might go run a few laps at the park, but I mean, I don't really have much free time with like my school, working all those hours, babysitting, and just trying to find time to do everything else. Yeah. Um, but I, so you're definitely overworked, over, you know, you've got a lot of stuff going on, and that can definitely be stressful for you. Um, have you ever uh, taken time to go see your sister and kind of give yourself some, you know, time with her? Have you done that lately? Um, well, I haven't really seen her within like the past three or four months, but I did uh, just last weekend, I drove to Lafayette. I actually was able to take a day off and I got to spend the day with her on Saturday. So, I mean, it was nice to catch up with her and, you know, spend time with each other. I mean, it's been a while. Okay. What did that kind of do for your, like, ang not anxiety, your stress and stuff like that when you were able to actually get to see her? Um, I was actually able to, like, be myself. I was, we had a good time. So, I mean, it really helped out my self-care okay. and just stuff like that. So, I mean, I feel like I might need more time like okay. that. Yeah, you definitely had a lot going on with your master's program and stuff like that, getting all of your, your classes complete and your homework and you're kind of the stress of your boyfriend switching hours and kind of finding a new routine with him and seeing your sister enough and then getting enough hours at work so you still are able to support yourself. So you definitely have a lot going on and I definitely admire you for being able to juggle all of that in your schedule and still be able to have everything kind of seem like it's put together and stuff like that. Um, if you had to like kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, prioritize, what would be like your kind of top priorities out of those things and then what would kind of be something you could maybe cut back on? Um, I feel like right now school is really important to me. So obviously I have to focus on school, work harder, trying to get my uh, lessons done ahead. Um, also, probably working, but I might be able to like cut back. Um, I might also have to uh, like maybe tell a few of the family that I can't mm -hmm. go visit or then like tell them no every now and then. Um, I mean, I really like to spend more time with my boyfriend and just do things that I'd like to do. So just kind of maybe cutting back on babysitting mm -hmm. for the family since that's not your like main job and your main mm -hmm. support and then maybe kind of giving yourself more time and more of a, a chance to reorganize how you spend time with your boyfriend and your mm -hmm. sister like and stuff like that. Um, so I know that you mentioned that you're wanting to kind of get yourself some more like me time and have some more like fun time what would be like the good things about not cutting back on what you're doing and not changing how busy you are what would be the good things about that um well i would constantly have a busy schedule so i mean i wouldn't have to figure out like what to do next mm -hmm. i mean because it's like a always on the go um like i'd work from like nine to five thirty and then i'd have maybe a half hour break Mm -hmm. I would go babysit a family or something like that. Um, I'd be making pretty good money. I'd still be able to support myself, mm -hmm. uh, buy the things that I want, put food on the table, you know, go on vacations, just stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. What would be the not so good things about not changing to have some more like me time? What would kind of be a downfall to that? What would be, like, a, a negative to not having more free time in your life? Um, a negative to not having free time in my life. Um, I would 
be working more hours, uh, staying busy, um, I have more money, mm -hmm. just stuff like that, you know. What would be a negative about changing and having more free time? What would you basically like have to give up or anything like that? I have to give up my work hours, um, just cutting back on my like daily skill or like my work ethic mm -hmm. and all of that. So kind of having to cut back and maybe not have as strong as a, of a work work <laughs> ethic as you have in the past. Yeah, because then I'd be able to have more free time, more time for myself, mm -hmm. like pretty much be able to do the things that I want to do. Yeah, and like practice self care and mm -hmm. just stuff like that. Yeah. So what would be a positive about changing your busy schedule into a less busy schedule? I would have more free time for myself. Uh, I'd be able to like do my hobbies, like go to exercise, mm -hmm. spend time with friends and family, just stuff like that. I mean, I think in the end it would be more beneficial to cut back. Okay. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what would be like – where would you put yourself at as of being motivated to give yourself more free time? Well, I'm always up for change. Um, I would probably say probably like a seven. Okay, that's that's pretty positive. What puts you at a seven and not say a three or a four on that scale? Well, I've been really stressed lately, and I don't know how much longer I can go on with like being this overworked, uh, having this busy life schedule mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I mean. I'm up for some change. I'd like to actually do some things that I'm interested in doing. And, mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, I think being at a seven, it puts me towards being more motivated to change and being less than a seven. I don't know. I'm more obligated to okay. change. Well, I definitely admire you for, you know, considering yourself so high on that scale. It does show that you are really willing to do some stuff in your life to give yourself a little more free time and just kind of take a break and relax a little bit more often. So that really is an admirable trait to have in a personality. Uh, what could you do to maybe get yourself even higher than a seven to maybe an eight or a nine? Um, probably cut back and focus more on like my top priorities, which is like uh, school, uh, my friends and family, just doing things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're, you're definitely willing to maybe have to cut out some things in like your schedule um, besides babysitting what else would you maybe have to cut out in that time frame to be able to do it um, I probably have to quit either one of my jobs or just work more hours at one and just focus on that mm -hmm. um, yeah pretty much just cutting back on my work hours mm -hmm. or just quitting the whole thing and just focusing on working at Kohl's because I mean I really like Kohl's a lot better I mean I've been there Okay. I enjoy what I do. Yeah. So kind of going, I know you said school is one of your top priorities. Mm -hmm. um, what is? What do you want to do once you finally do finish your internships and your program and graduate with your master's? Um, well, once I graduate, I kind of want to take a week or two off just to travel. Mm -hmm. But I'm most uh, interested in working with kids. Um, I did an internship uh, last semester at the Southwest Indiana Freedom Youth Village. And I really enjoyed my time there. And I think I'm interested in being there okay so I mean I'll probably apply there and then if things don't work out I definitely want to work with kids so mm -hmm. I'm probably just gonna look around and see what kinds of jobs open up maybe even like school social work because mm -hmm. I mean the hours are good you have your summers off yeah just stuff like that so. yeah I definitely admire you for wanting to work with kids because I know it's definitely a hard population to work with a lot of people kind of want to shy away from working with kids just because they can be kind of unpredictable and kind of stuff like that. So that's a very good aspect to have in your future career. Um, are you wanting to stay in Vincent's when you start working? Or are you wanting to kind of maybe travel with your career? Um, right now it's kind of up in the air. Uh, things with Dylan are looking pretty good. So we'll probably uh, end up getting married. And since he just started his new job, I'll probably end up in Vincent's or Washington area, even though I'd rather work in like Evansville mm -hmm. or somewhere like that. But I mean, yeah, I guess Vincent's is a small town. It wouldn't be too bad. I mean, mm -hmm. I grew up there my whole life, so I'm pretty familiar with all of the services mm -hmm. and resources. So I mean, yeah, I, I'm up for it. So being familiar with the services would definitely be a benefit for you working in that area because you're mm -hmm. already kind of familiar with 
what you're able to do to reach out and get your clients help. So that's mm-hmm. saying events as we could I could definitely see working as a positive for you. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, most definitely. I mean I know a lot of people there and I can connect people. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well it was great talking to you. I mean you seem very committed to working on your master's program and getting that that degree completed and definitely trying to see, you know, your sister more and hang out with her some more since you guys are so close and finding a new routine when your boyfriend does switch to nights and then also maybe finding something that would maybe help benefit you in your time management as opposed to like your two jobs and babysitting and stuff like that. So I think you've really got it organized and I think it, it'll work out well for you if you just kind of reorganize and maybe cut out some stuff and go from there. It was great to talk to you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Awesome.